Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to share with you my tips for organizing large shoots inside On One Photo Raw 2019. So whenever we're organizing large photo shoots where we have a bunch of photos, it's really important to keep track of those photos or to back them up. And an easy way to back up those photos would be to do that using the import module. So to import, simply head up to File, and then select Import. And now we're inside the Import dialog. And if you head over here to this source menu, you can choose where you want to import those photos from. I'm just gonna head into this Samsung T5 hard drive and I'll import them in from my Carano wedding folder. I'll just choose open and there we go. Now we have all of those photos ready to import. And the reason I like to import photos, especially if I have a ton of them, is because I can head over to my destination pane over here and I can actually use this backup option to choose a different folder so that I actually have two folders with these photos on them. This is key, especially if you like to go back and search through old photos to find different highlights. I generally like to keep a backup folder just in case something goes wrong with my main folder and I lose any of those shots that I want. And another thing I like to do instead of the import dialog is I like to head into this rename section, especially if I'm shooting a bunch of portraits I'll usually head down to this option where I can add text and I'll make it the person's last name. I'll just say Mahoney and then I usually like to go down and I'll modify this new area and I'll choose text and I'll put pre-edit so that I know that these photos are pre-edit and I still need to modify them before I send them to the client. And the last thing I usually like to do instead of this import dialog is I like to head down to my metadata and I usually clear out whatever I have there. And if it's a portrait session or a wedding session, I'll usually just add the keyword of where it was located. So this one, I'll just put Malala because it was located in Malala, Oregon. Once you have all of the settings that you want applied inside of these panes, simply head down to import. So now that we have those photos imported, a great way to organize them even further is to rate them so that we can remove any of the excess ones we don't need. And a quick way to rate them is to simply double click on one of these photos and then simply hit F on your keyboard to pull up the film strip view mode. And the first thing I do before I start rating my photos is I head up to this top menu here, I go into photo, and I make sure I have auto advance turned on. That just means when I rate a photo, it's automatically going to advance me to the next one. So to begin rating my shots, I usually just do it with a 1 or a 5. I'll rate it a 1 if I dislike it, and I'll rate it a 5 if I want to keep it. So for this photo, I'm just going to rate it a 5 because I do like this shot. I'll give this one a 5 as well. Maybe a 1. Maybe a 1. We'll do a 5. 1 and so on and so forth. And once you have all of those photos rated, simply hit G on your keyboard to head back into grid view mode. And now you're gonna to wanna to head down to this view change option here, and you're gonna select rating and then you're gonna head down to descending. Now if I scroll all the way up, you'll notice that I have all of the five star photos up here, the ones that I want to keep, and if I scroll down, you'll notice I have all of the one star photos that I can eliminate. So now that we have our rated photos separately, we can select all of these one star photos here. We can either right click, and we can just delete them entirely, or what I like to do, if I have enough space on my hard drive, is I'll add a subfolder, and I'll just name it Deselects. Now I have a Deselect subfolder with all of the photos that I dislike, just in case I wanna go back and review them to find any ones that I may have messed up the rating on, or just in case I find some ones that I do like after a while. And now that we have our Deselects and our Selects separated, what I like to do is I like to grab groups of photos and add them into subfolders based on occurrences or the time when we were shooting. So for example, 
I can grab these photos here that were shot in downtown and I can right click and I can just add a subfolder and I'll just name it downtown. And if you scroll down, you'll notice that that subfolder was created and now you have all of those downtown images inside of it. And you can continue to do this until you have different subfolders for your entire library of photos. And once you have those photos inside of different subfolders, you can head over to this folders pane over here, you can roll down this menu, and now you have these different subfolders. And what I like to do is I like to color label them based on if I've edited them or if they're ready to go. So first I'm going to right click this deselect folder and I'm going to color label it red so that I know it's all of the photos that I disliked. Next I can color label the other folders so I'll just right click and I'll color label this one green so that I know that I need to go in and edit it. But let's say I've edited these downtown ones, I can right click and I'll just color label them blue so that I know that these ones are ready to go to my clients. And once you have a folder ready to go to your client, and once you have a folder ready to go, you can go into that folder. I'll just select all these photos. I'll right click. I can rename the files. I'll just switch this to text. I'll rename it to the name and then downtown. We'll add another one use text, and we'll just name it edit. So that we know that these are all photos that have been edited because when we imported them, we renamed them pre-edit. So then we can just hit apply to rename all of those photos. So those are some ways to stay organized with large shoots inside On1 Photo Raw 2019. I'm Dylan with On1 and stay tuned for more.